Hi guys, today I'm going to be making the tray that was in the master bathroom and you can pretty much put anything in a jewelry, but first you're going to need picture frame. I got this one because it's deep enough to set something inside of it. Now I need to use some foam board, which I got from Walmart, and trace out the size of this glass. So I will do that right now. I need two pieces. And the reason I need two pieces is because I'll be gluing them together. This time I'll be using Gorilla Glue. And then let me move this over. I've kind of already outlined them with a marker ahead of time. And I just got this instrument here from Michaels. I'll leave everything in the description box. So we're gonna take these pieces and put them in front of us because we're going to need to connect them with some of the Gorilla Glue. And I want to give it a quick bond with the glue gun. pretty much put this piece on top and we're gonna let this sit and dry for a little bit and now we take our picture frame and I want to put it down pretty much like this where it's just all silver showing. Turn it over. Use my glue gun to give it a nice, quick bond. foam board and press it in there. And it should fit pretty snug. I'm just going to hold it for a minute. Now this was just a piece of glass in here. And the reason I wanted to put foam board behind it is because if I want to sit something on top of it that may be a little heavy, I don't want to break the glass. I want to have something behind it to support the glass. And also you can add mirror if you want to. I didn't have a mirror the size of this particular frame. So what I did instead was just spray paint it the glass silver. But the next step is to take our foam brush and we're going to use our Mod Podge and just start coating the top of our picture frame. And this is just going to give it a nice 
layer, even layer of adhesive so that I can put some silver glitter on it. Now at this point, I'm going to take my glue and start to distribute it evenly, as evenly as I can around the picture frame. And the good thing about it is some of the glitter has gone inside of the tray and I want to have some of the glitter stick to the inside. So I'm going to use my Mod Podge again and I'm going to just attach the glitter that's on the bottom to the tray with my Mod Podge. And this is going to give it a sparkly look as well because this dries clear guys so don't worry about it looking white right now it's going to dry clear and the good thing is it'll help prevent any scratches object that you might want to put on the glass. It will actually protect the spray paint that I put on. But what we're going to do after we're done is pretty much the same thing we did on the top of the picture frame. We're going to put the Mod Podge on the sides and pour the glitter over the side and we will have to let this dry. I usually let everything dry overnight. That's just the rule of thumb for me. I know it's completely dry in 24 hours. At least it's worked out for me that way. All right, now we're done with that. And we can add a little bit of the glitter, just sprinkle it as much as you want. And that will dry clear. You'll just have a sil silver backing with some glitter on top. So now that our glitter has dried on the top of the tray, we're going to go ahead and add some Mod Podge to the sides of the tray so that we can finish the tray by adding more glitter to it. just fall off. That's the good thing about it. You can reuse it. Put it back in the jar. our glitter on all four sides of the tray. We're going to let this sit and dry 